Hi everyone, welcome in this tutorial on modeling a kind of forgotten gate. This is a part 2, so be sure you already watched the previous part. You will find the link in the description below. Today we are going to add variations and details to the base mesh we made in the last video. We will use curves, subdivision surface, displacement and skin modifiers. We will also use some proportional editing. So first, we are going to add some variations to all our bricks by using a displacement modifier. To add it quickly, we will select our separated bricks and join them as a single object by pressing Ctrl J or Command J if you are on Mac. Now we can add our displacement modifier. We'll create a new texture that will give us a random variation. Then, in the texture panel, we just need to change the type of texture and select a cloud texture. You can now change few settings, but most important here is to come back to the displacement modifier menu and reduce the strength that is way too high. We will reproduce these steps to all our bricks. After that, we need to apply first our subdivision surface, then the displacement modifier to get our new geometries. Now we are going to add bigger variations manually to the shape of our bricks. To do so, we will use proportional editing. Let's switch in edit mode by pressing tab. You can activate the proportional editing by clicking on the little icon next to the Gaussian curve or using the shortcut O. This tool allows you to apply transform to the closest vertices of your selection in a uniform way. You can change the influence distance with the scroll mouse. We will activate the option connected only that will allow us to only modify one brick at a time. This part is a bit long because I have a lot of bricks, but you can spend the time you want.
Now we are going to add a liana on top of our portal. To do so, we will add a Bezier curve by pressing Shift A. We will move the liana to the right position and switch to edit mode to shape it. You can press E to add more vertices to the curve. Once you have done with the Bezier curve, we need to convert it to a mesh and we will keep the original curve as well in case we want to modify it later on. Now we have a mesh made of a bunch of vertices. We will add a skin modifier with a subdivision surface to it. We end up with a liana too big. To fix it, we will decrease its size by selecting every vertices and press Ctrl A or Command A on Mac. Here I'm making some adjustments to my Liana because I'm not happy with how it ends up. This part is over, thanks for watching. I think the next video will be the last one for this tutorial. Like and subscribe if you enjoy it, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!